Hey, it's Leanne. Love you green. Welcome back. You know what? I thought today is the day. We're going to do our first official video. Why not do an impromptu tour of my refrigerator and freezer? Exciting, huh? So here we go. Um, I didn't plan for this, so I don't know what we're going to run into. But here it is. So on this side, condiments. Almond milk, over here, a lot of the same. Condiments, uh, creamers, maca powder. This under here is uh, cilantro, coffee, random supplements, butter. On the top shelf, whew, there's a lot of stuff up there. Uh, Gluten-free bagels. Right here, I made this last night, last night if I could talk. It's um, vegan chocolate chip bars. I'm gonna take that out for right now. And then we've got, um, and the roundabout there, we have like random condiments. And then um, spaghetti squash. This I made a couple days ago. It's quinoa with like a lentil stew. Uh, some greens, some pickles. Back there we've got um, uh, flax and hemp hearts and lemon. And oh, is this good? It's like a cashew uh, buffalo, kind of like a mock cheese sauce. And then jicama. Let's see this next shelf. We've got um, overflow avos and then random dips and turmeric and ginger for our smoothies and extra almond milk, um, strawberries. And then back there is butternut squash. Down here we've got uh, avocados and jalapenos, potatoes that I made last night, almond flour, cat food. And then on this next one, we have uh, eggs and then a container of mushrooms. And then this is also what I made last night. It's like a veggie chickpea marinara concoction that we put with the potatoes. On this side, just uh, prepped and ready, celery and carrots. And then back here is um, uh, sauerkraut. And then there's like a smoothie uh, pre-made thing and cranberry juice and then uh, a coconut almond milk. And then in this little tray, I have uh, a kombucha and uh, olives and ch tart cherry juice and pomegranate and salsa. And then um, in this drawer, we have veggies, kind of low, but um, we've got zucchini and carrots and celery and kale that I use for smoothies and a red pepper. And then in this guy, we have a couple different kinds of apples, apple sauces, some, these are, um, cashew butter, uh, chocolate bars, lemons, and then um, V8 and some of these um, Spindrift like sparkling waters. And then in this bottom one, uh, let's see back there, there's some dates. I'll do like uh, peanut butter, or almond butter stuffed dates with maybe like a little chocolate chips for like a little dessert. Uh, so cheese, not a lot of cheese in the house. Um, these are awesome. They're from Costco. They're these like egg with cauliflower wraps. So we've been making a lot of stuff with these. Uh, some lunch meat for my son. And then also some um, uh, gluten-free tortillas. And then these are the coconut wraps. I haven't eat, tried them yet from Thrive Market. Uh, I like the ones from Costco, but they haven't had them lately. And then some um, cream cheese that I want to do for a recipe. But that is the fridge. And then the... Um, freezer is uh, kind of a mess. We've, let's see, we've got some meal prep protein pancakes and some um, just like convenient type of foods, hash browns, broccoli over here, more veggies, chicken, shrimp. Um, and then on this top shelf is kind of where I keep all of our fruit for, um, for smoothies. And then on this side, some random stuff. Uh, there's like some ice cream, chocolate chips, gluten-free uh, waffles, uh, the best cauliflower pizza from Costco. That's about it. That's what's happening in my fridge and freezer. So if you guys have any questions or um, comments, please let me know. Uh, I'd be glad to help you and get a little discussion going. So that's it. Take care of yourself and we'll talk soon.